This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer, and I have two co-hosts with me today, so that's like, it's like a threesome. Ew. <laughs> nice. Well, no, not ew, but just with you two, ew. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be fine with twins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm hurt. <laughs> that's, there that's goes a YouTube comment. Yep. So, first off, I want to say this is, this is Don Don. He's also been a guest on the show, July 2011. Yep, yep. we had a... We had a where the heck were we? We were at your parents' house. We were at my parents' house, right. You did a slippery nipple? Yes, yes, yes I did. Did. That was a lot of slippery nipples. Mm-hmm. Doug is uh, from a podcast we do, audio show, and you've been in like a number of episodes. There's some Christmas ones, there's some, the last one was Drunk Doug, and then there was one before <laughs> that with Doug. Doug. Drunk Doug. It was Drunk Doug. Is it yeah. every episode with Doug Drunk Doug? Uh, yeah. The last time I yeah. pre-gamed hard. Yeah, it was. he was probably already too warmed up. Gotcha. Well, this let's... time, everybody's sober. Very. So far. So far. So what we're going to do is the first episode, this is going to be an all-week deal, the first episode we're going to have like a flashback, a a retrospective, if you will, of two cocktails that Don likes. Mm -hmm. Next episode, a cocktail I like, the Whiskey Sour, and the Dr. Jack, which Doug piqued Doug's interest when he was looking at it. Jack Daniels and Dr. Pepper, two things you like. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. He likes Dr. Pepper. You like Jack Daniels? Sure. Either way, I, hope so. you I, l- I mostly like doc- Dr. Pepper. And then, so that's two. <laughs> so you two. picked that solely on Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. But that's you can find out if you're going to like a Dr. Pepper cocktail. Of course. I've never been really, doc- Dr. Pepper bothers me. We'll talk about that next time. Okay. This time, two pre-mixed, no wait, one's pre-mixed, the Tiki Punch. Yep. And that was from July 11, at the show that you did at your parents' house. Mm-hmm. This and was a fan favorite, well, a fan of the people who were there that evening. Yes, everybody liked it. That We had a whole audience that time, yep. live studio audience. And the Captain Hook, which is from 09. And I had actually and something pre-mixed else. a third one as and, well. And a third one. So what do we do with this one first? Oh, that's the surprise? This is, the, yeah, we'll, let's, we'll bust that one out after. Okay, okay, so I have a tiki glass. That one just needs to be shaken, right? Just chill. It's already been shook. We need some ice. Maybe you want to yeah. throw some in there, give it another shake. Whoa. Whoa, that's, that hole's smaller than I thought it was going to be. Doug, Don, whatever your name is. What? Too many Ds. Here. A little high ah, ice. Dirty. What? What? Oh. Shit. Oh. I like how you do it. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. This episode is going downhill fast. Yeah. That's the other thing is anytime that at least Doug's here, it's typically already marked as a Can we explicit. sort of strain it? Ah, hell, just pour it out. Oh, we have a strain here. <laughs> yeah. But that, I'll leave you room for a little right. bit more ice. You want ice in there? A little bit more. So, this cocktail, oh, so I think T Kill Virus originally sent that, which. Our no, this was originally sent by Paper Mounts. Paper Monster, Monster 87. 87. I don't know why I know that. And yeah. we actually got. Now, so, we did this one. We don't have straws, so we're gonna have to get all a little. That's off. fine. We did this one uh, uh, herp. Uh, during that, but that particular like. Do you have the recipe? Herp. I, I have the recipe. Say what's in there. You want me to say it? Yeah, it's pretty long. People know. All right, so we've got one ounce. And by the way, you could go to everydaydrinkers.com or .tv, and you can look it up. Called Tiki Punch. Um, it's one ounce of dark rum, one ounce of light rum, half ounce of apricot brandy, half ounce of Grand Marnier, three quarters of an ounce of orgay syrup, almond syrup. Um, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, one and a half ounces of pineapple juice, one half ounce of orange juice, three to five dashes of bitters. They're around here hiding. Oh, and yes. that's it. That is still an awesome drink. Foamy head. Mm-hmm. It's got it's got the pineapple. The pineapple. Mm-hmm. So originally when we we made this particular drink on location, that episode I was on, we actually made it wrong that right. day. Uh, we were corrected. Uh, later by Paper Monster. Right. This is the correct recipe. And what do we miss? We miss Grand Marnier? We miss Grand Marnier and, and we, we did too much apricot. apricot. Oh, but I like apricot. Can you never get to have too much apricot? So okay. you can taste the almond. Yep, we, this this is the one but, uh, per his... <clears throat> this is the first time you had this done? Not sugar? Mm-hmm. What do you think? It's good. It's really good. Like, I really want an umbrella in like a cherry. Yeah, we, did, we didn't take the time to garnish here. Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, this is how I roll here on the show. What makes this one 
Absolutely. Yeah. It would not be the same oh. without the Crucian Blackstrap rum. You don't think so? No way. Wouldn't oh, be nearly there's as There's brown sugar. Yep. You get, you get the brown sugar I'm action. For that. There you go. The uh, black sugar. <laughs> Okay, I have a black steel over there in the corner, so I I have a couple bottles of black strap. One's down there. So we burned through one, one finished one black strap off. That's tasty. That's really good. See, it's got that nice, I like the brown sugar accent. Now, you may get that from, uh, oh, there's some apricot brandy. I don't even know. I brought it back up. It's here somewhere. No, the apricot's here. No, but there's a, the dark, like maybe black seal. Maybe that's that same. I don't know if it would be any different. Uh-oh, what are you finding? It's the brown sugar in that black strap rum. Yes, the brown it's sugar. It's so molasses, it's so There's much. a bite from yeah. the lime. Sweet almonds. Yep. I like it, it's dark rum. So that is. This is still. Whoa, dude, that's epic. Which one's mine? So if, Pick a color. If I, I'll go with orange. Okay. You're red because it's seated and pointing towards you. So what's this one? That's, um. So, uh, uh, <laughs> that glass? We'll, we'll, here, why don't you top that off? Oh, that goes in here? Yeah. You, that's your job. Okay. You're the top we're offer. Gonna, we're gonna do the frosted for this one. Oh. Ice me up. What do we make in here? This is the Captain Hook. Ah! Now, you originally made this one um, back in 2009. I'm blocked. Sorry. It's cool. Um, you liked it. I think we and liked it. I was here for a podcast when we were oh, doing yeah, yeah. the, the, uh, and I had made the that testing. Already? But this was before you recorded the show. Oh, okay. yeah. We were doing the testing. And you yeah, said, Malibu. you said, this is the weirdest combination. We're going to try it. It is. Malibu, two ounces of Malibu. Two ounces of Malibu. Red Bull. Red Bull. And you top that little sucker off with some gold stalker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is my bottle bigger than your bottle? Oh, you got a, you got a little girl bottle. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's it's not how big Over conversation. I just, I just think that it's great that there can be surprise in the show. We were like downstairs talking about this forever and Goldschlager's in that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Weirdest combination. You see, the, the deal is, see I'm holding this? Uh, the deal is, Ooh, I this show works around, but that's fine. <laughs> that's good. <gonna happen. laughs> Here, do you want it back? Oh, thanks, so this is still, in my opinion, a weird ass combination. You don't even stir it. You're done, right? You're done. So, but you, I still you, you I keep Red Bull you want to in my in there, or you want to just dive in in my yeah, beer fridge oh, for this yeah. drink. You have this in your fridge. I keep Red Bull in my beer fridge just for this drink. See, I don't keep enough Red Bull. I'll take this back for a minute while you're doing yeah, you a little sample over there. Make sure you suck a little off the mm. top. You gotta get that gold. I was gonna say you gotta sip that because you gotta get some of that cinnamon off the top. I guess I'll just do this then. Mm. Huh. <laughs> the the attack is crazy. Like the smell. The attack. That All cinnamon. Right, sorry. Just suck it down. Feel that cinnamon like right up in your nose grill. That's good. Crazy combo. The cinnamon is not overpowered. No. Which I should probably put this down. It's kind of phallic. No, it's actually, uh, it's like you make it phallic. Yeah, I did. Like, hey, look at where I'm holding this. <laughs> well, there's no place but. This is probably one of the best usages of Red Bull cause that I've ever had. Do you drink Red Bull like that? I can't drink it. No, like sand I can. It tastes I like, like it, but really, I don't normally drink it. I think it's like citrus and sand. It's just got some weird quality to it. Maybe it's the. It's not very good. But people are so like in love with the Red Bull. I get it's, a lot it's of Red more Bull. Of, it's more of you know, it kind of it does make you feel. Like I'm not big on energy food. drinks. Because they're but if bigger. if I have if you know if, if we've gone to visit family or something and I know I'm gonna have to drive back and it's gonna be driving back late, uh, I'll drink drink one then. So but up that's the bit. only time I'll drink it, I, yeah. except when I occasionally have one of these. This is a, mm. and it's got a nice gold color to it. Uh, Malibu, Red Bull, it's so tropical. Yep. Yeah. So right. that's uh, it's two ounces of Malibu. A little bit gold color. That's you you fill the glass from. with uh, your Red Bull and then you float. Uh, it's supposed to be a quarter ounce of gold sugar on top. Or I psh, keep pouring. No, I actually poured a little too much when I was floating it. But. We always go over the over line. So then, uh, what's that? So originally we were only going to do two. You didn't pee in that, did you? No, I did not pee in this. Um, I'm going to need ice. But here. as I was exploring your collection up here. Oh God, did you just make so you didn't use you didn't use my um. My Swedish fish vodka, did you? No, I didn't. No, no, no. no. When I was exploring your collection up here, I, I found a particular rum that I've been wanting to try, and it was actually a recipe that I considered for today. Okay. Um, and I brought the extra ingredients just in case. Really? Huh. Mm-hmm. Nice. I didn't actually... So you you want to put ice in there to shake it, or you're just going to stir it? Or eh, we'll just... 
give it a little, make sure it didn't settle. Because you don't want that sucker to settle. No. It'll be, uh, that's my perfect puree. This is what happens if you put certain shakers in the dishwasher. All the oh, lo logos good. come off. Hmm. And that's never any good. No. I'm all about the logos. Get some G-Vi. Now, you've had this on the show before. It's amber. You I've know what? I, I'll throw it at you. You drink it. You tell me if you can remember what it is. It's amber. We're going we're gonna to test you. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Is that amaretto? Mm-hmm. Is there it. vodka in there? Nope. Something's got a, like, <laughs> potent bite to it. Not brandy. Smooth, though. It has schnapps in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, peach schnapps? Yeah, I should have known that because he asked me if I had peach amaretto. Oh. There's something else though. Is there a spice juice? rum? Oh, is that that spiciness? The magnificent bastard. Which one? The the uh, the magnificent bastard. Uh, have you the done that costume? Jerry's. Oh, Sailor Jerry's. Sailor Jerry's. Oh. Yeah, it's got that. But the the thing is, I have a hard time when you put amaretto and spice rum together, which oh, happens yeah. a lot. The problem is, you, you, it's hard to separate them because See now, amaretto spices could go into the spiced rum with the allspice. That doesn't have a lot of allspice. You know how everybody tends to have their one liquor they prefer? You're a spice rum guy? For me, it's rum. Mm. I like rum. And since almond is supposedly the key you don't have you know, the key ingredient that makes a Mai Tai a Mai Tai, yeah. amaretto it almost has like rum an almond syrup. just always go together. You can me. almost get an orgate syrup out of that. Like, it's got that almondy sweetness. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for peach schnapps. Peach schnapps, that's what yep. it is. I really am. Peach schnapps, champagne. So you're done. To be fair, I I, I, I don't I, think I would have brought the peach schnapps. I brought these two recipes because these are two of my favorites. That was kind of the point of this show. I had never actually drank this before, but knowing what was in it, I knew I was gonna like it. That's so you good. just made, where did you get the recipe? Off your site, every day like before that TV. Like when you got here, or Excuse before? Me. Before. Oh, so you, I didn't have you any, already had this all stealth in Sort of. I didn't have any Sailor Jerry's at home. When I started oh. sitting on your shelf, I decided to ad hoc a third recipe here. Wait. Hold on. Sweet. So that'll be episode number one. Looking back at 09, 011, where, I don't know, it doesn't even matter. I don't like know where this here. came from. Like, Magnificent Bastard? Here, you can have that. Uh, I can tell you. Oh, really? Due to the oh, power he's got of the there. iPhone. Yeah, but that doesn't have dates. Oh, that's right. I went to. <laughs> um, the wiki, mixdrinkypedia.com, if you're looking for where he got some of these things. So there's three recipes that... Don's favorite. Don's favorite recipes. Well, Captain Hook has always been awesome. Tiki Punch, I think everybody would like that recipe. That's probably one of the best recipes we've ever done. Yeah. Just brown sugar is awesome. It's got a lot in it. And, it and, and, and again, the Crucian black strap, key ingredient. Spice See, this, this is the thing that I think that if you can just uh, take the recipe and just double it, triple it, quadruple it, just make a huge Full batch order. of it. Absolutely. Yeah, and just have people drink off that all day. You want to know the funny thing <laughs> is, though, is we joked party. on the show. <laughs> you don't even have a pool. No pass! <laughs> <laughs> we joked on the show because I, I shook the hell out of it, right? And then I poured it into the glass with the strainer and waited for the foam to come out. The funny thing is, I think it actually adds a lot of flavor to the drink. Because mm. it's, it's really hitting you in the nose when you're taking a drink. Oh, yeah. It's got some... It's a pineapple juice that does have. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Episode number one is done. I don't know how long it is, so we're going to cut this and move into Dr. Jack, Whiskey Sour, one of my favorites. So, Don, Doug, whoa. Yeah. Derek, we're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>